Hey everybody, it's Professor Williams again, and today we're going to look at solving for an unknown interest rate, sometimes looked at as computing interest rates or finding um, rate of return. So what we want to know is, what is the rate of the return? In other words, what is our interest rate? So we'll go ahead and put our question mark there. If we take a $5,000 investment today, and in five years, it grows to $11,750. So let's start getting our variables together. So we know that we're going to grow this for five years. Presently, we have $5,000. And we're not going to make any payments along the way. We're just going to let this money grow for five years. And in the future, at the end of that five years, we're going to have $11,750. And $50. So remember, either present value or future value needs to be negative. We're going to make our present value negative. Think of this that you're writing a check out of your checking account for $5,000, which is a negative. You're going to deposit it with some type of investment or an investment broker. And in five years, you're going to have this $11,750. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to use my time value money keys to figure this out. So here I am, and I'm going to begin with my time value money keys. First, you know me, I'm going to clear my work. So I have an N number of periods is five years. Interest rates, what we're solving for. So we're going to skip over that. Presently, we have $5,000. And remember, we're going to make that negative. So hit your negative for your present value. We're not making any payments along the way, so we make that zero. But what we know is in the future, that future value is going to be $11,750. That's my future value. And now what we want to compute is our interest rate. So the interest rate that would be required in order to grow $5,000 into $11,750 in five years is roughly 18.64%. So if somebody knows where I can get 18.64%, please leave me um, that location in the comments. Otherwise, I hope you have a great day and I'll see you on my YouTube channel.